Hello people, welcome to the video series where we learn Kotlin by solving hacker rank algorithms challenges. In the last video we went to a staircase and now let's check minimax sum. Given 5 positive integers, find the minimum and maximum values that can be calculated by summing exactly 4 of the 5 integers. Then print the respective minimum and maximum values as a single line of two space rated long integers. For example, if you have an array 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, the minimum sum is the sum of these four, 1, 3, 5, 7, and the maximum sum is the sum of last four. Uh, but there are some gimmicks. The first one is we won't be given a sorted array. So we cannot just go and calculate the first four and the last four. And the second thing, the output can be greater than a 32-bit integer. That means these numbers, instead of 1, 3, 5, can be go up to 10 to the 9. So the sum of these four variables can be uh, go outside of the maximum integer value so it can it can overflow so how do we do that how do we find out which integers to sum for minimum sum and maximum sum actually there is a tricky solution the solution is instead of getting uh, the minimum sum and maximum sum by determining which four numbers to uh, add up but instead calculate the sum of all of the uh, all of the numbers here and in this array and then find the minimum of the array and find the maximum of the array and to get minimum sum just subtract the maximum number from the total sum and to get maximum sum then just subtract the minimum from the total sum that way we don't need to figure out which four is uh, which four numbers add up into the minimum sum and which four adds up into the maximum sum so just just to clear it out we need to first find the minimum of the array and then we need to find out the maximum of the array. And we also find out the sum of everything. Okay. And then we just need to print two different numbers with space with, uh, with a space in between. And the first one will be sum minus max. And the second one will be sum minus min. So sum minus max will be the minimum sum. Sum minus min will be the maximum sum, right? We can, we can just do it like this. But let's switch to IntelliJ IDEA and understand how we can find out the minimum of an array, the maximum of an array, and sum of an array, considering this can be bigger than the maximum value an integer can take. Okay, as I said, we need to find the minimum of this array. And we need to find the maximum of this array. And we need to find the sum of everything in the array. And as a last thing, we need to print sum minus max and sum minus min this is our strategy but how can we find minimum and maximum and sum let me show you the first thing we can do uh, to find out all of these three firstly we can change these into variables instead of values and uh, sum can start from zero max can start from zero because i know that every other 
uh, number in this array is a positive integer. And min here can start from integer max value. Okay, so that any number will be uh, less than or equal to this number so that we don't miss it. And in a for loop, for each number in this array, what we can do is first we can just add this number into the sum to find out the sum and we can we can check if this number is less than min then we can say okay this number is the minimum current minimum and also if this number is greater than max we can say that okay max is this number because it is bigger than our current max so at the end of this for loop we have the sum max and min all of them but there is one gimmick as i said uh, there is no problem with min and max being an integer because we are guaranteed to have an integer but we cannot guarantee that sum uh, will also be an integer because we're adding up all of these integers into the sum and it can overflow there can be an integer overflow in the in the previous videos i i showed you what does that mean and how how to prevent it so i will go ahead and convert it into a long number with l so that it can hold up this sum of integers cool uh, i think this works but just just to be sure i'm going to copy this and paste it into here and let's run it first and we pass the sample test cases and let's submit the code and get it and get it tested by this much test cases and we passed all of them that's good but i can show you another way of writing the exact same code like the approach will be the same but uh, the code will be different for that i'm going to create another function okay so this part will be the same we're going to print the same thing and we're going to calculate the same variables but instead of a for loop i can just use the built-in min and max functions so what i can do is array dot min and array dot max i'm using these deprecated versions uh, because hacker rank does not support at the time being uh, the newer uh, Kotlin 1.4 uh, versions of this functions so I'm, I'm gonna stick with the deprecated versions okay min and max this can be uh, null so I'm, I'm just like double banging it and uh, the sum so this part is tricky because we we need the sum but as you can see sum is an integer see sum is an integer that's a problem because we can get an array over um, the integer overflow so what we can do is we can convert this into long it to long so that we converted this array into a list of longs okay a list of longs the same thing but now it represents longs and then get the sum of it now we have minimum maximum and sum we can do the same thing this is shorter that's for sure but it's not as efficient as the first solution since here the arrays are just like five element arrays it's it's not a big problem but if you have like thousands or millions of elements in an array i don't recommend iterating it three times 
or converting this array into a list because this mapping operation will take a lot of time because you're creating a new array. If you're calling this function repeatedly, uh, I don't know, in a server-side program, yeah, I don't recommend it. But if it's a simple thing, if it has like five iterations or so, this doesn't hurt as well. So it's up to you. If you like like more concise, more shorter uh, syntax, then this is the way to go. And by the way, uh, the current version of these functions are written this way, min or null, max or null, okay? Uh, and we're using this because this can return a null. But in the Kotlin 1.3, uh, the versions uh, of the versions of, of these same functions are written this way, but now they are deprecated in Kotlin 1.4. Cool. Okay, let's let's run this in HackerRank and see if that works. I'm submitting it directly because I believe it'll work. and it passes all of the test cases. Cool, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.